The Secrets to Overcoming Laziness Once upon a time, there was a young man who lived in a small village at the foot of a mountain. This young man was known throughout the village for his laziness. He would spend his days lying in the shade of a tree, napping and daydreaming, while the other villagers toiled away in the fields and workshops. One day, a wise old monk came to the village and called the young man over to him. My son, said the monk, I have a task for you. I want you to climb to the top of that mountain and bring back a single feather from the highest peak. The young man looked up at the mountain and scoffed. That's impossible, he said. I'm far too lazy to climb all the way up there. The monk smiled and said, Ah, but you see, the feather I seek is not on the mountain itself. It is on the other side of the mountain, in a cave that can only be reached by climbing to the top and descending the other side. The young man was intrigued. He had never heard of this feather, and the thought of such a unique task sparked his curiosity. And so, he decided to take up the monk's challenge. The climb was long and arduous, and the young man soon found himself out of breath and sweating profusely. But as he climbed higher and higher, he began to feel a sense of exhilaration and excitement that he had never felt before. When he finally reached the summit, he was exhausted but elated. He looked out at the breathtaking view before him and felt a sense of accomplishment that he had never experienced before. But the real challenge lay ahead. The young man had to descend the other side of the mountain and find the cave where the feather was said to be located. The descent was even more treacherous than the climb, and the young man stumbled and fell many times. But he persevered, driven by the promise of the feather that lay ahead. And when he finally reached the cave, he saw the feather lying there, gleaming in the light that filtered in from the entrance. He picked up the feather and marveled at its beauty. But then he realized that he had a problem. How was he going to get back up the mountain and return the feather to the monk? For a moment, the young man considered giving up. But then he remembered the sense of accomplishment and pride that he had felt when he had reached the summit. He knew that he had the strength and determination to do it again. And so he climbed back up the mountain, his muscles aching and his lungs burning. But he did not give up. He pushed himself to keep going, driven by the knowledge that he had overcome his own laziness and accomplished something truly remarkable. When he finally reached the monk and presented him with the feather, the monk smiled and said, Well done, my son. You have learned an important lesson today. Laziness is not something to be accepted or tolerated. It is a challenge to be overcome, a hurdle to be leaped over. The young man nodded, understanding the wisdom of the monk's words. He realized that he had always been capable of great things, but that his laziness had held him back. Now he knew that he had the strength and determination to overcome any obstacle that lay in his path. The lesson of the monk's challenge is that laziness is not something that should be accepted or tolerated. It is a challenge that must be overcome, a hurdle that must be leaped over. When we push ourselves to achieve our goals, even when they seem impossible, we discover a strength and resilience within ourselves that we never knew existed. To overcome laziness, we must challenge ourselves and set ambitious goals, no matter how difficult they may seem. We must push ourselves beyond our limits and persevere even when we face setbacks and obstacles. We must also cultivate discipline and consistency in our daily habits and routines. By setting a schedule and sticking to it, we can build good habits that help us to stay focused and productive, even when we don't feel like it. Another important aspect of overcoming laziness is to cultivate a growth mindset. This means viewing challenges and failures as opportunities for growth and learning, rather than as reasons to give up. By adopting a growth mindset, we can reframe our thinking about failure and use it as a catalyst for improvement and progress. Ultimately, overcoming laziness requires a willingness to step out of